that capacity within us. I think perhaps you might have been asking, what are you doing now that makes you think that they won't come after you again, and are you doing something to keep them from coming after you again? There's nothing I can do to keep them from coming after me if they want to come after me. Uh, I, I can't even give it an iota of thought because it's in the, it's in the imagination. You can't ever plan for something that isn't happening. I thought I could in some ways. I kind of knew it was coming when the indictment was coming down. I've spent years and years doing all the legal research and all kinds of stuff. I'm ready. And I've got legal research piled up my kazoo, right? It was all irrelevant. By the time I got into the system and realized what a machine it really was, and you don't have a judicial system, and you don't have any rights, and you are guilty when charged in the federal system, and they will all tell you you cannot win, and you cannot win the 99.99% conviction rate in the federal system. And the rule of system thumb is, is if you challenge them, you get three times the prison sentence. I mean, it's all mathematical when it comes down to how much time you're going to It's all governed by the U.S. sentencing guidelines. How did I write that book, the Federal Criminal Defendant's Handbook, in prison and smuggle it out? <coughs> I penned three books, 3,000 pages of handwritten, pencil-written letters and correspondence. I read 125 books. I had nothing but time on my hand. I could just <laughs> catch up on my meditation, <laughs> my reading. Three hots and a cop, he joked. You can consider prison to be something to be scared of, or, which it is, and I don't wish it on anybody, but it's also that monastic retreat you always keep saying you were going to take, but you never quite did. <laughs> <laughs> going out there, maybe celibate for a couple of years, cut out all the extra, you know, fat from your diet, you know, all the other things that you say you're going to do out here, you know, in the free world, you are forced to do that in there. So it is a, a training and a workshop if you take it that way. If you take it that way. What's the key to happiness? Want what you have. Be happy with whatever is going on around you. And prison is not going to kill you even if you did go. And you will meet some incredible people. I met some of the most brilliant men I have ever met. You want to know where the leaders are in America? They're all behind fucking bars. That's where they are. The good people, the good men. They don't say, where are the good men? I can't find any. They're behind bars. Write them. Become pen pals. Send them some money for their commissary account. Something. Because that's where the good men are. Two and a half million of them. So, prison is not to be feared any more than me anticipating what the government might do if I stand up and be myself. If you are being true to yourself, be true to yourself. Don't worry what other people think about you. Because you've heard the old expression, what other people think about you? It's none of your business. <laughs> it's really none of your business what other people think about you. What you think about you, when you look in that mirror in the morning, and you go, Johnny, I love you, Johnny. You're doing a good thing. You're good. Stay in integrity. Just stay, stay, stay honest in integrity with things, you know? That's what really matters, because that's your soul talking back at you. you know? That's like your conscience. Let your conscience be your guide. Have that conversation with yourself. Don't be so worried about what the government's going to do. I really don't give a hoot what they're going to do. They're always going to live forever. Who cares? I've lived a good life. I could die tomorrow and be quite happy. Yes? Do you know about that gentleman? I can't think of his name, but he uh, recently got out of prison too. He was framed um, because he was researching about the Illuminati and trying to expose the Illuminati. Do you know who I'm? Oh, well. I don't know offhand. Anybody here? I did no. a few hints. Benjamin Fulford? I'm sorry? Benjamin Fulford? Maybe. Dark hair? <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> I need a few more clues. <laughs> okay. Glad to see you're out and you're a survivor. I'm glad to see you well, here. Well, I'm a thriver. I thrive. A sovereign. Thrive in every environment. So, anyway, so this is this has been beautiful tonight. Thank you.